my name is Jennifer Medrano, but my full name in Spanish is Jennifer Oneida Medrano hyphen Reyes. My parents are from El Salvador. I was born and raised here in Boston area. I live in Everett now. Um, I'm 25 years old. And I've been an artist uh, ever since I, I was little. It's just been always in me. Um, ever since I could really pick up a pencil. The time that I realized uh, that everything around me was art but it was at a very young age. Um, really my teacher seen the potential in me and she was really my biggest guide. Um, would always call my parents to uh, have a discussion about putting me in advanced classes and private classes, but my parents uh, don't have a high degree education. So immediately um, they're the kind of people who they don't understand what our grades like A, B's and C's and all they really know is that, you know, doctors and lawyers, you're safe there uh, for security. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to show them and prove to them that being an artist is definitely um, another way of living life. It's just me following my dreams, really. mind space that I had to deal with with my family especially my dad I would say um, but not, a, not to put a bad taste on my dad's name or anything but I feel like this is something that I can talk about and uh, a lot of people will resonate because I, I for certainly know I'm not alone on this and we all kind of do sh share the same story and background um, but growing up with a uh, dad because of his culture and traditions you know we're known to be just be in the kitchen, you know, cook and clean. And my mom, that's all she ever really knew what, how to do. And so with that, um, you know, she never really understood anything outside of that. So she wasn't able to support me in any other way but cleaning and cooking. Uh, my dad, who's kind of a little bit sexist, I would say, and I would have to admit that he is. Um, and being very strict with me um, had, and not ever letting me out has made me focus more on my art, you know, just that's how I spent most of my time and that's really how I started getting really into it um, when I was a teenager, um, just spending a lot of time in my room and, you know, with the door shut and just draw away. <laughs> was 20 I moved out of my parents house and moved out with uh, my current roommate Elisa Garcia who's a phenomenal artist as well and ever since then we've been living here in the same space um, and with the with this studio that we have that I'm so grateful to have here in Everett 
I was able to break through all those doubts because now I have all these tools around me, the space especially, so I have no excuse to really prove to these people that have these doubts of me uh, that I can still create. I think what's really important is really having that space and the people especially um, who are also on that wave or that same frequency of vibration where they are also creating and that's only going to inspire you. And so I think that really was one of the major key is um, finding that circle where, um, you know, it's beneficial to me and them as well. So I think that's really uh, how I was able to keep going. storytellers and creators so that's how I see in my spirit mind and soul